Okay, this is video is really gonna require um, a length of time much longer than a traditional TikTok, but I just kind of wanted to get this out here in a preview sort of way. The idea of being a good girl, especially in, when it comes to like being a Christian girl, um, and just how you levy that with the disappointments you might have faced in life. And me personally, being 27 years old, being a virgin, never having a boyfriend, my first kiss was very bad. And just um, having standards in a society where they kind of praise you for the opposite and just really trying to reconcile feelings of like not getting what you felt was promised to you and understanding that everybody has a different journey understanding that you know what I want won't come easily it won't come from someone who want someone who exhibits behaviors that I personally don't choose not to take but also in the another realistic realistic outlook of not feeling desirable because you haven't had certain experiences and almost feeling like an asexual being because you're not viewed in the way that uh, I guess other people are viewed and you don't have the same attention and all that kind of stuff being paid to you, especially if you're like me where, you know, I don't really like to say late bloomer because I always feel like I was always popping and everybody else was catching up. <laughs> you know what I mean? But there is this, I am seeing that people are kind of starting to peep me, but not, you know, but very surfacey and, and I'm not just talking about attractiveness. I'm talking about just me being a person of value, which is insane in and of itself. But anyway, like I said, this is a topic that can go for on and on and on and on. But I just feel like, you know, there's got to be other good girls like me who you feel like you did. Like, you know, I wasn't really bad in school. I tried to get the best grades I could manage. I did my best to follow the rules that were always presented to me and live my life in a manner that I felt like reflected well of Christ, of my parents, of my upbringing, all that kind of stuff. But yet, and still, I have not garnered the things that I've prayed and cried and fought and abstained and all of that for and just kind of wrestling with those thoughts and at the same time knowing that I am loved that I'm cherished that God has something for me that his plan is going to be beyond anything I can even imagine but not necessarily seeing all of that right now like it's just a lot I don't know is if anybody else is like that please let me know <laughs>